guys, welcome back. Today I am doing this Barbie pastel tutorial. I didn't really mean for this to be Barbie-like, but when I put it, the pictures on Instagram, I got so many comments. Uh, people were saying, Barbie, Barbie, and then I realized it kind of looks like Barbie makeup. So I thought, why not go with that theme? It's just a really pretty pastel kind of look. So I thought it'd be something different and fun for my channel, and I really wanted to use the duochromes from Makeup Geek and my bulldog is snoring in the background so disregard that but I'm talking over this because this is my normal uh, concealer and just setting powder technique and I'm going in with this new palette from Tarte absolutely love this I think this is the contour palette and I'm using a new brush from Morphe that I've been loving as well and I'm using it to contour with my bulldog is snoring so loud I'm sorry I literally am sorry there he snores and does not care about my uh, voiceover. So I applied my powder to set underneath my contour and I'm wiping it away and then we're going to go ahead and jump into the eyes. So now I'm going to take Petal Pusher. This is my favorite, favorite shade. Perfect transition color and we're going to use this to just define our crease and start this look off. This is not precise. This is kind of whatever you want to use. I mixed like seven colors and they all look good together so you can just basically choose any of these colors that you have on hand. So I'm using this as my transition and then we're going to go in with this more purple shade and this is Carnival. Absolutely gorgeous. Love this one. I find myself reaching for it a lot and I'm just going to work this in the crease just a little bit on top just to make it a little bit more purple. Then after that we're going to go in with this kind of deeper grape purple color and this is called Fairy Tale, and we're just going to put that in the crease. I'm focusing this more in the crease and on the outer lid area. And then we're gonna go in with Time Travel, which is more of a tealy blue, but again, they all work really nicely together. So I'm using that in the outer crease, outer V, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. And then after that, we're gonna go back in with Fairy Tale and just sweep it underneath the lower lash line. And again, this can be quite messy. You can do it however you feel but I just did this kind of messy I had no plan I really don't have plans when I film I just sit there and look at the palette and see what I think so now I'm taking Motown which is this deep purpley color and I'm just going to sweep this on the lower lash line and then also I'm going to put this in my outer V a little bit and just kind of tie it together this is basically just like a messy smoky eye and now you see me going in with a smaller Morphe brush and just applying that on the lower lash line. And then for the star of the show, I'm going to use this black light. I think it is currently sold out, but I'm sure they will restock soon because Makeup Geek does really well with restocking. So this is black light, the Press Duo Chrome. It's absolutely stunning. It makes me want to use more of their duo chromes. So now I'm doing a wing and again, you don't have to do any liner. You don't have to do a wing. I just did today. Again, I just sit down and kind of go with what I feel. So I'm doing a wing and then after that, I'm going to apply my lashes. I'm using the Vegas May Shining Star Lashes. You can get them at Target. I think they're $6. So now I'm going in with Makeup Geek Vintage and I'm just going to take a flat definer brush from Sigma and just kind of define my lower lash line. Again, you can do as much or as little as you'd like to do, but I just thought it needed a little more oomph on the bottom lash line. And now I'm going in with the Sugar Rush. This is a duochrome from Makeup Geek, but in the loose pigments. And I'm going to pretty heavily highlight my inner corner. So again, this is a really kind of out there pastel-y duochrome look. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose. I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, which I love, it's a staple of mine. I've been having the hardest time contouring my nose though, so if anyone has any tips, comment down below. So I'm just going to kind of blend that out. I'm using a Morphe brush, something different, and then I'm going in with this Natasha Denona blush because Barbie has pink cheeks. So I'm just applying some blush, and then I'm going in with Gold Digger from Artist Couture. Absolutely love this. Super crazy glittery highlighter. Very pretty and very intense. So I'm just highlighting the face with my favorite brush from Morphe, the M501, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I will link it down below. And now I'm applying some white liner to my waterline from Tarte, and then we're going to go on to lips. I'm lining my lips, and then I'm going to go in with this Pure Minerals uh, lip stain, which I really love. It's kind of similar to the Josie Marin ones. And then after that, I'm going to go in with Sigma lipstick, and this is the Nightlife Sigma Camila one. It's really pretty. It's like a really pretty pink, but still wearable. Then I'm going to top it with a Natasha Denona lip glaze, and then I'm going to spray my face with Fix Plus, and that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I have so many tutorials coming your way. If you have any requests, leave them down below. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Let's go back to
Bye-bye.